Tom Bender is a physicist and philosopher at heart and an architect by trade. He uses all of these skills to create alchemical changes in the dwelling he modifies and creates. Tom shows us in this interview that the age of expansion is all but dead and giving way to a simpler and more contemplative use of space and resources, including our own internal spiritual resources. One of the tenets of using space in a sacred manner is understanding that there's a life force called chi that permeates all of life, a force that the Western world gives little, if any, consideration to. What I have learned of the chi energy is it's a totally different consciousness. It's um, a totally different media. It's outside of space and time. It's a magnetic diffraction energy uh, which is sort of superimposed or inside of the material world. But it is the realm where quantum non-locality takes place, where everything is connected, where you, you know, flip a photon here 10 light years away, its partner flips instantly. Um, and that means that everything is connected, everything is consciousness, and everything is aware of everything going on. And I call that our, our mainframe consciousness, using right. a computer right. analogy, and that it's integral consciousness that everything is a part of. But someplace along the line, we, we, you know, we, we drew, these, drew this sort of uh, computer peripheral uh, you know, on top of our neck that has all <laughs> these uh, uh, you know, cameras and, and these audio receivers and things. And, Stuck uh, simply in the five senses. The five senses, and they are wonderful because they are so powerful in helping us deal with living in the material dimension of our reality. But the problem is that they drown out the chi energy, the integral consciousness. And we have to learn, as every culture has, how to set aside that rational world and be able to connect back in with the other. The rational is so powerful, it's like you know, an engine, you know, this V8, uh, 800 horsepower engine. But without a steering wheel, without brakes, and without a map, it's creating <laughs> all over hell, uh, destroying everything. This gentleman shares one useful observation of mankind after another. To see this full interview, go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.